Katrin's tour of the Green Belt takes her through Thuringen's Slate Mountains. Hundreds of kilometers from the Baltic Sea, where the east-west divide begins, is the former East German border town of Probstzella. This massive building, the Haus des Volkes, or People's House, has towered over the small town for 80 years. This house here was built in the late 20s, and as the name already suggests, it was for the community, so a lot of events took place here, also during the DDR years. But the interesting thing about it is the building itself, because it belongs to a very famous German architectural style, the Bauhaus. <laughs> Clean lines and lean objective design, typical Bauhaus traits. Alfred Arndt, the architect who designed the Haus des Volkes, was a student of Walter Gropius, who founded the state Bauhaus school in Weimar. Businessman Dieter Nagel grew up in Probstzella. Six years ago, he bought Haus des Volkes and transformed it into a cultural center, complete with a restaurant and hotel. It was a very modern design. Looking at this furniture, you can see that Bauhaus followers were avant-garde. They were really ahead of their time. At first, Thuringen's largest Bauhaus complex was used mainly to host events. In the 1970s, it was expanded to include a restaurant. But in the years after German reunification, it fell into disrepair. You bought this as a Hulk, and then you put a lot of effort in it to make it all shiny again. Why? The house meant a lot to Probstzella. It used to be the center of culture and tourism for an entire region. And when the building was empty, and as it became more and more run down, people talked about demolishing it, and we wanted to prevent that. Probstzella was also the site of communist East Germany's last remaining border railway station. Trains from Munich to Berlin and back still travel along this stretch of railway, though the station's old border checkpoint has since been demolished. Before 1989, some 20 million train passengers were checked through this four-story building. This was the waiting room for travelers, and East German Border Patrol and passport inspectors had their offices here. Demolition began less than a year ago. Few traces of this one-of-a-kind landmark of East Germany's past remain. The idea of marking the site with a memorial was rejected. Outside Probstzella, in the area surrounding the former border town, Anna Katrin takes a spin on the east-west divide. But instead of going up, up and away, this time she's going to explore the green belt from the ground up. To do so, she needs a different helmet. Heiko Walter is a climbing instructor who runs a high ropes course. In the summer, adventure seekers can climb trees here in the Green Belt. What we do here is something we call tree climbing. This is a really great opportunity to blend rock climbing with tree climbing. Heiko secures all climbers with a rope to make sure they don't fall. As our intrepid reporter makes her way through the trees, Walter coaches her along, branch by branch. He's careful to point out any obstacles, such as moss, which can be quite slippery. But most of all, he strives to ensure that climbers feel safe. When I'm climbing the trees here at the former border, I really have to push my own limits. But the good thing is, these adventures along the green belt really make this experience worthwhile. The view from above is beautiful. But for Anna Katrin to continue her tour along the green belt, she has to come back down to earth. <laughs>